Hi, my name is Jordan Jansen, and this is my Collaboration 3 presentation. You are currently looking at my professional website that I built using Google Sites. I chose Google Sites because I found that it was easy to navigate when we were using in class. So right here is a brief description I included about myself and why I want to teach third grade. Um, below that I put in pictures of my campers and I that I have worked with over my experience at day camps. On the next tab is my community service experience that I've had my work experience that I've had, as well as my experience I have since I've been at Susquehanna and everything I've been involved with. Here is my uh, lesson plans. I provided examples of an intro activity I could do where I'll have students define character traits versus physical traits and emphasize how characters' behaviors influence the sequence of events. Uh, below that I have my guided practice and I'll be reading the book Little Red Riding Hood aloud to the class and I'll provide students with an example of character traits and for one of the characters in the Little Red Riding Hood and have textual evidence to support that trait. And then as an independent activity I'll have students find two character traits with supporting textual evidence for each main character and they will also have to identify the sequence of events on a witch hat chart right here. And here's an example of one of the character analysis sheets they could fill out. And then I will collect those independent activities as an assessment. Um, I also included my contact information right here. So the subject matter expert I reached out to, his name was Stephanie Van Horn. I found Stephanie while I was exploring her Pinterest, which you can see. This is one of her boards she has, which is on assessment thoughts. She has dozens of boards, and they're really well organized, and she has many pins on the website Teacher Pay Teachers and here she sells her classroom resources such as Brain Breaks and other activities she does. Um, she's best known for the blog she runs known as Third Grade Thoughts. Um, it's a really cool blog that I found when I was researching and here's some like, just some tips on moving into your classroom but Stephanie originally went to uh, got she's originally from Ohio and she got her undergrad at the Ohio State University and she got her master's in elementary education from Columbia University. Stephanie, is teach Stephanie teaches third grade at Douglas Elementary in Boulder, Colorado, and has over 10 years of teaching experience. At first, I didn't know how to approach this, approach a stranger to help me with my lesson plans. And I first contacted Stephanie through Facebook, and I sent her this message right here. It was really general, just to ask her to look at my lesson plans, and I got no response. So instead, I sent her a general tweet on her Twitter um, asking for any tips on teaching character analysis. And I still got no response. So I thought I would ask a more specific question that would only reply a couple word response. And I asked her if she finds it more effective to have students read independently or listen to a teacher read aloud. And I still received no response. Um, but I hope to hear back from her still. She read my Facebook message and didn't reply, so I'm going to assume that I might not hear back, but I'm going to hope. My three questions I had written down also were, which do you have find more effective, having students read independently or having students listen to the teacher read aloud? At the elementary level, is it a bad idea to stop halfway through a read aloud to reflect on what has been read so far? And my third question was, could you recommend a better form of assessment for this lesson? And that's all I got for you.